Langkawi has been on our travel list for a very long time and after spending a month here, we have seen quite a bit. From beautiful nature, huge amounts of wildlife, boat tours, scary bats, amazing locals, eating non-stop delicious food and surprisingly a lot of fun entertainment. So let's begin our journey through Langkawi, known as the Jewel of Qatar. Alrighty, here we go, Eagle, uh, Eagle Square. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful day. Explain like how big it is. <laughs> it's like it's huge. You see like photos when we actually here, yeah, it's really big. If you arrive by ferry at Kua Jetty, just a few minutes walk and you'll see this massive eagle statue sitting on a star-shaped platform. Langkawi is believed to be named after these majestic eagles that soar above the island skies. And you can get pretty close to them while you're visiting Langkawi, but more on that later. So stopping by this amazing square for a few photos is well worth it. So wildlife is everywhere in Langkawi and in this episode you'll see a variety of animals we encountered here on this amazing island. Now if you're gonna stay somewhere, consider staying among the forest and rice paddy fields. We stayed in this unique village style accommodation and being surrounded by nature allows you to see some truly unique things during your stay. <laughs> the whole time we've been in Langkawi, we've just seen so much wildlife, it's just awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Now almost every night of the week in Langkawi, there is some sort of night market selling all things delicious. This one held on Saturday is one not to be missed. Stretching down one long road that is closed off for the night, this market has a huge variety of food, snacks, drinks, homemade sweets, and even fresh produce like fish and seafood. What is that? Taro? I forgot the name. How is it? I love how it matches purple, purple, you know. has some serious good eats, so check out at least one when you're visiting the island. Alrighty, here we go. It's amazing. 
amazing. It's because it's like off season, right? Yeah. So cool. <laughs> you can spend like all day here around. Taking selfies. Oriental Village is an entertainment hub located near the mountains of Lenkawi. This area has a lot to offer, from petting zoos, food stores, selfie museums, virtual reality and lots more. You could easily spend a whole day here. But the main attraction is making your way up to the top of the mountains. To get some amazing views of Lenkawi and its surroundings, you definitely have a lot of great options. The Sky Cab, which goes up to one of the island's highest point, is a must when in Lenkawi. Because this is a popular attraction, we chose the Express Pass, which allows you to skip all the lines. <laughs> So this gondola is one of the steepest in the world, and with a length over 4,000 meters, it's a long ride to the top. As you travel up or down, you'll begin to see some spectacular views of the mountains. And when the wind is strong, you may start to feel a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> When you arrive to the top, you must pay a small fee to gain access to the sky bridge. You can either walk through the forest or take the sky glide. We opted for the forest as it was such a nice day. Yeah, I want the wall. Beautiful. Hey, do you notice that um, we're in the forest in KL like it was really hard to breathe. It was so humidity and yeah. Yeah but like, here I was like it's fresh air, like crisp fresh air. Oxygen. <laughs> so crisp air. <laughs> oh my god did you hear it? <laughs> what? I don't know. This bridge that is suspended way up high in the sky provides breathtaking views of the surrounding nature and islands. It spans between two mountain peaks, making it an amazing sight to see up close and from afar. This is truly an experience that should definitely be on your list. A Titanic moment. <laughs> I don't think they do that in Titanic. Get sharp, yeah. Air condition. And that's a lot That's pretty cool. That was a cool gondola ride. It was amazing. Right? Yeah, the bridge, that was the highlight for sure. Very high up. And express line was worth yeah. it so much. <laughs> yeah. There were lines like everywhere, every like step, and we just went straight to bed. <laughs> we never got an express line before. No, and I think it's totally worth it. Yeah. And you get three free attractions to go with it. So we're going to the second one now, 3D Art Gallery. 3D. You look so real. <laughs> Not sure. Do you see a tiger? On the floor, they will put the picture exactly how we are supposed to look and how to take the photo. It's really good.
Welcome to Let's Travel MoFo. This 3D art museum has over a hundred interactive paintings. Not only you get to glide around in your socks, you could honestly spend several hours just taking photos. It really gets tiring. Also at the end is an amazing sound and light show. So check out the art museum and capture some great holiday memories. It's so real. What should I do? That's it? <laughs> <laughs> As we travel around Malaysia, one thing we always try is the luxes. And in Lengkawi, they have their own special version. What makes this laksa so different is that they add a whole fish to each serving, giving it more depth of flavor. This sour and spicy laksa is definitely something you have to try. It's more sour and more spicy. It's absolutely delicious. And the color is completely different to the other laksa. It's very vibrant and it's just like, I guess it's something you'd like to have during the summer. And the seafood flavor, you can, <coughs> and it's spicy. <laughs> The seafood flavor, you can really taste it in the broth. Yeah, it's very opposite to what I had in, in um, KL. Really actually like it, it's really nice. Now what surprised me about Langkawi is the variety of entertainment on this beautiful island. VR Universal is a great place to get your virtual reality fix and look like a superhero at the same time. I didn't think like cutting fruit would be amazingly <laughs> awesome. <laughs> You'll have a guide with you explaining each game. And what's really great is that there are a good variety of games. From cutting fruit to some Terminator thing. And of course, killing ghosts and zombies. Some can be very hard or very easy and some are just plain crazy. Also, if you noticed, everyone can observe your performance in the game. And sadly, you can see how poorly we're doing, but at least we passed the zombie game. Everything was good, but this one, so scary. It was like highlight, it was the best. I almost got like lost in the game. It was so much fun. So definitely this one. <laughs> Can we go again? <laughs> <laughs> okay, after getting our virtual reality fix, we are going to the seven waterfalls. Should be so close. This is the cable car. This way, and it should be 10 minutes. Yeah, about a 10, 15 minute walk.
clarify. We just started maybe like one minute, <laughs> not even that. <laughs> Now after a slow 20 minute walk from the cable car area, you'll arrive here at the Seven Wells Waterfall. Named after the seven naturally formed pools that flow down from Mount Machincheng, the second highest mountain in Langkawi, this without a doubt is one of the most beautiful and picturesque waterfalls on the island. With the surrounding forests, you can relax and enjoy a nice swim in the water. Tree in a tree. <laughs> so many steps. 100 meters to go. Here you go, hon. Now to truly get the full experience of the waterfalls, you need to climb up about 600 more steps. Once you reach the top and catch your breath, you'll see some great views of the mountains and you might also see some fairies. Seven Wells Waterfall has a mythical story to its name. It's believed that this used to be a secret garden for seven fairies who enjoyed bathing in these seven pools. So if it's good enough for fairies, then it's good enough for us. Remember, these pools are fairy approved. Okay, the hike for today is done. That's all I have to say because I'm really tired. There are many great dishes to try in Malaysia, and rojak is definitely one of them. This refreshing yet spicy fruit salad is a mixture of flavors unlike any other, and using local tropical fruits, it is really something special. Bit of spice, bit of saltiness, and sweet at the same time, mm. and really super crunchy the fruit, and also from the peanuts as well. So not with the black sauce, but it's delicious. Now after eating your rojak, this beach is a great place to take a swim, finish off your day, and of course, see some wildlife. Right here we go. Legend of Park Langkawi. Legend of Langkawi? <laughs> I don't know. Legend of Langkawi Park. Legendary Park, maybe? <laughs> yeah, let's uh, try spot some animals.
This beautiful park spreading over 20 acres of land is definitely a nice place to get some great views of Langkawi but also to learn about some of the island's many myths and legends, such as the battle between the two giants, who were once friends, but now enemies. During their big battle, these giants would throw cooking pots and cauldrons at each other. As you can see, they never bothered to clean them up, until finally a bolt of lightning struck and shook the island, transforming them into two of Langkawi's largest mountains you see today. There are many other great stories about Langkawi's myths and legends, so keep an eye out. This impressive new tower has recently opened its viewing deck, but has not quite finished yet. And if you choose not to enter, the views around the tower are amazing, and at night the whole tower lights up. You wanna go first? Okay. <laughs> Come in. You go. <laughs> slowly, slowly, yeah? Yeah. Ah! Get <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm in. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> One popular and most certainly a must in Langkawi is book a boat tour, particularly the mangrove tour. If you book a private boat, you'll have more options for what you want to see. If you share a boat, it'll be much cheaper. However, everything will be pre-planned, but all tours will generally go to the hotspots. As you begin your journey down the Kalim River, you'll be surrounded by one of the world's best and most unique mangrove forests. Mangroves can actually thrive in salt water, and this dense forest provides a home to a variety of species. Oh, good catch. <laughs> they can swim? Ah. Now at one point you'll see a lot of eagles and the reason you can see so many is because the boat drivers will throw chicken skins into the water, enticing the eagles to dive down and grab the food. Crocodile Cave is a natural tunnel formed in the limestone by an underground stream and with a skilled driver these boats can actually pass through the cave but only during low tide. The name Crocodile Cave comes from the shape of the cave so don't worry about real crocodiles attacking the boat.
So that was uh, four ringgit for two tickets and one ringgit for the torch to see the bats. Yeah. You can't really see it. <laughs> <laughs> Located right on the Kalim River, this cave is incredible to see and explore. But when you turn your flashlight on, you will notice the main scary attraction. Being so close to them is, I guess, an enjoyable experience. So take your time in the back cave. It's really cool. Like you have never experienced before. Like that close to you, like above your head. Like some hobby. Done. So what? Scaring the monkey. Okay, here we are, about to get some seafood, it's been a long day, very tired, very hungry, very hungry. let's go. Seafood! <laughs> so I don't know why we're yelling seafood. Are you going to swing? You're too scared. <laughs> Now there is definitely a lot of great seafood restaurants to check out in Lenkawi and you should try to visit at least one. With fresh seafood dishes such as battered soft shell crab, this goes very well with a nice view of Lenkawi and is an excellent way to finish your day. Wolf is a non-profit animal sanctuary that rescues injured dogs and cats from the streets. The founder Jeffrey has many years of experience as an animal therapist and works to rehabilitate these animals and, if possible, place them in permanent homes. Jeff is currently responsible for over 200 animals, doing all the work by himself from cooking 60 kilos of rice weekly, medication treatment, water therapy, cleaning all the areas, and of course, lots of attention and playtime for these animals. What's great about his sanctuary is that he welcomes volunteers. Even if you just want to come and play with some animals for half an hour, you're more than welcome to. Okay. Wait, do we have pockets? Yeah, at a bit. <laughs> I take my one out. <laughs> okay, when I first started, uh, hey, Maya, Stop it, don't chew oh, that. Sorry, sorry. Come on, that one people donate, okay? <laughs> That's a solar light. <laughs> okay, so um, maybe we'll start. How did, you, how did it begin? How did you get into this line of work? Well, actually, I came here, it's like a holiday thing. You know, that was what, 14 years ago. And then uh, when I first came in, then that's where I encounter like injured dog. During that time, even until now, we have one shelter on the island. When I go and check with them everything, too many dogs to handle. So then I start looking into the possibility of how to help them. When I first started, I started small. You know, like I just rescue one dog. You know, one dog become three dogs. Three dogs become five dogs. Five dogs become ten dogs. 
and it's gradually getting more and more and more. I think I've become more serious. It's about 10 years in doing like proper seriously in, in rescuing all these animals. When it comes to volunteering, I have like walk in and stay in. Okay, walk in means like there's no time frame. Whatever is convenience to you, you can come and help. Simple as that. Even them coming and spend time and play with the dogs. I'm happy with that. You know, because the dogs, as you can see, they're friendly. They want attention, you know. And I can't give every single dog attention. So I'm happy to just play with the dog. You know, I mean, more flexible kind of thing. Stay in volunteer means whatever I do, you do. Simple as that. You know, we work as a team. And then I will provide accommodation. So they will help out like daily basis. You know, and then once they are done or whatever, then they can go and explore the island. And then when the time comes to come back, then they have to come back and do the evening part or whatever, depends. You know, we will work out a schedule because every volunteer, different schedule. So if you enjoy being around playful dogs, consider helping out a local while in Langkawi. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Look at the logo too. Even the even the towels have it. You can come to the you can have shower if you want. <laughs> If you're looking to bathe in the sun on a private island, then this could be for you. Only a two minute boat ride and you'll arrive here at Paradise 101. This island provides cocktails with a view, water sports activities, and you'll finally get to see what it's like to be a giant bird. Yeah, it's for you. And that's life. And that's about it, you gotta pay for everything else. You will need to pay for a package to get over here, which will include a complimentary drink on arrival and some kind of activity. Just keep in mind, that's the only way you can get to the island. Kota Mazuri is a historical site where you can learn about the island's traditions and culture. This is also where the Mazuri mausoleum can be found. Mazuri was a young woman who was well known for her beauty in the 18th century. Her beauty, according to legends, caused jealousy and she was accused of adultery. Despite her innocence, she was sentenced to death and on her dying breath she stated that there will be no peace in Langkawi for seven generations. Now shortly after her death, Langkawi was invaded and taken over. So many people at the time believed that her curse became true. Okay, so we just went to the museum and now I'm going to get some snacks from this restaurant.
So this restaurant with an amazing view of the countryside is not far from the museum. In fact, it's only a 10 minute walk. You can try some great cuisine here, such as Nazi Danang, or just grab a bunch of random snacks like us. What's interesting is how we paid. Simply take a photo of everything you eat and show it to them when you're done. <laughs> now that is trust. So this massive arts and craft complex showcases the work of local artists and craftsmen. You can even see artists create batik paintings here. Plus, you can give it a try for yourself. There's actually a lot of places to go in this complex. And There's also a variety of museums that show traditional and modern Malaysian fashion. It's quite amazing that this whole complex is for free. And what's really great, if you shop here, you'll be supporting local artists. It's definitely worth the visit. <laughs> do you write or do we write? Yes. Oh, uh, you, can write. Write. <laughs> yeah. you can write also. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or you want to go in. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> so many choices. So, many choices yeah. so just behind the cafe is all these cool boats. If you need a coffee fix to start your day like us, then head to the Smiling Buffalo. To match the great coffee and atmosphere, this cafe has an excellent breakfast menu as well. So after way too many coffees, we were ready to do some more exploring. Stretching over two kilometers, this very popular beach and area is one place you'll definitely end up visiting. You can sit at the many restaurants, check out some duty-free shops, maybe buy some beach clothes, or even try some water sports. Beautiful. <laughs> This is also where you can book boat tours of the surrounding islands. Just keep in mind that there are a lot of companies everywhere offering tours, so shop around for prices. Many of the bars are also along this beach and the road behind it. One place to visit is almost like a hidden bar. During the day, it runs as a souvenir shop, but in the evening, you can get some really nice strong cocktails here. I got this.
still, I think having a drink on the beach and watching the sun go down is definitely an experience you don't want to miss. So if you're looking for nightlife in Lenkawi, then this is the place to be. Which brings me to my final thing on this list. Hang around after the sun sets, as this is when the locals and tourists alike really enjoy the nightlife that Lenkawi has to offer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.